right now we're in beautiful Asheville, North Carolina. We just had a great show last night in Weaverville. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you for all the encouragement. Uh, we pray that God blesses you and just keeps on blessing you and keeps on using you. Thank you so much. Uh, this week's a little bit slower. Uh, we have we have two more shows this week, and then that's pretty much the end of the April tour. Uh, we're going to after we leave Asheville, we're going to Nashville for a few days. Asheville to Nashville. When you're a rapper, you have to go to cities that rhyme. So that's what we're going to be doing this week is just hanging out in Nashville, just getting a few days of rest, and then we're heading Columbia, Tennessee, and then Hoax Bluff, Alabama. So here in Asheville, this is one of the most famous buildings in, in town. It's uh, the architecture, as you can see, with the, with the windows up there, with the, pointy, the pointiness at the top. It's, it's one of the most architecturally sound buildings, and it brings people from miles around. Um, here, we're going to go over to the side here. Yes, this is the house that Ronald built. Okay, again, in, um, we're still in Asheville, and as you can see, this is the, the world famous ghost plane piano, <laughs> or invisible man, whichever you prefer. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of, a lot of history here in, in Asheville. Uh -oh. We're still at McDonald's? <laughs> when I was in high school, I did not get treated very well because of that fact about me. Yeah, um, but you know, I'm out of high school, you know, I'm out of high school now, you know, good things. <laughs> and, uh, but bullying hasn't stopped. It's still going, as some of you guys know, you know, and it's like, and it's actually worse now than when I was in high school because there's social media. There's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. All that garbage, you know, and you got and you got people posting things and bullying online. And the thing is, the thing is, even if you were to delete those posts, those are still going to be there forever. You can never truly take it down. And and young people, young people are are hurting themselves over this, you know, and taking their own lives. And let me just tell you something right now, okay? If you are struggling, if you are struggling with being bullied, please talk to somebody. Talk to Steven, talk to myself, talk to Michelle. We'd love to pray with you. Talk to a teacher. Talk to somebody, your parent. Because let me tell you, let me tell you something. If you don't know this, if you don't know this, you were made in the image of God. And he loves you very much. Lord, we thank you so much for David, Lord. And the calling that you have on his life, and we see it. Sometimes all, everyone around someone else can see a calling on, on their life. And uh, we see it. We need you to show it to him. And Lord, just as David said, that this water to him means becoming a new person. Lord, I just pray that that new person is you. Lord, that, that the spirit that lives within him already takes over. Steals the show. And that just like his name, he will have a heart like yours. Just like his name, he will take down many giants and win many battles. Lord, because there's no accident that that's his name. You had a calling on his life before he was even born. And we thank you to be able to watch it, Father. And we baptize him now in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we baptize her now in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Last night we were in Columbia, Tennessee, and 
the show was amazing. It was our first time performing in, in Colombia, and 12 teens got baptized last night. It had nothing to do with us. Well, I don't, I don't think so, but we got to be there. It's just crazy because for the past two months, we've been able to see many, many people getting baptized. We've just got to experience so many different things, so many awesome, amazing things for God the past two months than we did last year. And so kudos to everybody working at New Life Church in Columbia, Tennessee to make that happen. Um, tonight, we're in Hoax Bluff, Alabama. This is a three-peat show. This is only the, um, the second place to do that. The other one being Weaverville. Love you, Weaverville. Um, but yeah, we got some some uh, old friends here today with uh, Chosen and Jordan. And then we got some new friends to make. And so I'm pretty excited about what God's going to do tonight. <laughs> We're on a mission, y'all. 